That's the mast where the first broadcast pictures by the BBC were sent from around London, around the country. Admittedly, there were only about 200 sets that were around at the time, but that's not the point. It was the start of something special. It was a revolution which spanned the world. This was a BBC Tower reception. There's a, a blue plaque on the right-hand side to mark the occasion on the 2nd of November 1936 or the first broadcast which took place there. On the left are the first BBC studios. Not as comfortable as the one you're in now, Riz. Uh, but over here, I'm going to go in to reception. While I go in, you take a look uh, at some of the events that have been going on uh, in Alexandra Palace today and also have a glimpse of the past. The selection of a site for the first television station presented many difficulties of which the public know little. Eventually, the Alexandra Palace was chosen. This is where it all began. Much has changed, but wherever you're watching this now, it's only been possible because of this place. So with it being exactly eight years ago and a few hours, broadcasting started at three o'clock in the afternoon, the BBC's decided to get some of those early pioneers who worked on those first television broadcasts and put them in a room over there for a tea party. There's some real characters with some great stories. It was a meeting of the unsung legends of broadcasting. One told me about his father, who helped with the first ever broadcast. Did you or your father ever think that television would have the impact that it would have around the world from this little humble home in Alexander Palace? I'm sure he had no idea, because uh, I've seen it grow slowly. But for him, no, I wouldn't think so. But TV did take over the world. At the age of 12, you were on the BBC in 1937. Do you have any memories of that? A vivid memories, vivid memories. Um, I remember the dressing room was at the back. Leslie Mitchell announced me. I was in the middle and they let my mother sit on the side of the... It wasn't a stage, was it, in the, in the studio. What are your memories of the dress? Oh, the dress for my first television <laughs> I created quite a, a stir in the studio because I turned up in a black evening dress and in those days television couldn't take that. Right. So it was a bit scurrying all around the place to find something and someone came up with a very bright flowered scarf and they draped it over me and I did the broadcast in that. Have you got any advice for me for the future? I have no secrets. <laughs> Just hard work and worry. <laughs> <laughs> Some good advice from Helen there. Look at this, this is one of the earliest cameras that the BBC used. Uh, and then there came this, which some of you might be familiar with. You might have seen it on Top of the Pops or something, one of the old BBC cameras. It's great being here. Uh, it's like a big toy shop, but for real. Louise, you're the chief executive of Alexandra Palace. What a terrific day to be here. It's an amazing time to be here, celebrating the 80th anniversary, of such an amazing event in Alexandra Palace's history. And such special items here uh, for people to see. This really gives us a glimpse of the past. But what does the future hold for the palace, for the BBC at the palace? Well, the, today's events are really the start of our build-up to the opening of a new visitor attraction in 2018, which will celebrate that permanently all of this history and heritage that happened here as part of a major East Wing restoration, which will have a new theatre and a whole new space for the public to enjoy. But today is very much about celebrating that heritage and the pioneers of the past. So it's not about getting rid of the BBC's presence here in the BBC. You're very much keeping it alive. Very much so. We've had so many people passionate about bringing this history to life about the BBC at the Palace. Um, we would never get away with not doing it. The BBC is such a part of the way the building looks and the history is, is so important to us. And how lovely was it, certainly for me, to speak to some of those pioneers of broadcasting, such lovely people with great stories. And that's a real opportunity for us to tell those stories, the people behind the camera, the people in front of the camera, and what that tells us about society, about communication, about broadcast, and how it's moved on. It is terrific, Louise. Thank you, and thank you for letting us be here today. This has been a, a wonderful day, certainly for me, somebody who works at uh, the BBC. If you want to come down to Alexandra Palace, it's open seven days a week. I do recommend it. It's a great place.